Dramatic changes are unfolding in our local grocery stores. As we transition into the fall and winter months, an alarming number of essential items are expected to vanish from shelves, caught in the grip of skyrocketing demand and a stuttering supply chain. The wave of food inflation hasn't even reached its zenith yet. Recent announcements from major corporations have hinted at significant price hikes looming on the horizon for late 2023. In just a few moments, we will delve deep into a crucial list of 10 essential foods that will become unavailable this month. These insights are pivotal for anyone wanting to stay ahead of the grocery game. To ensure you don't miss out on more vital updates like this, we strongly urge you to subscribe to our channel now. Here are the 10 essential foods that will become unavailable later this month. Number 1. Poultry, a staple in many diets around the globe, is another food sector under strain. Chickens, being the most widely consumed of poultry, are at the epicenter of this mounting issue. The factors affecting the poultry industry are multifaceted. Rising feed prices, for instance, make it costlier to raise these birds. The primary ingredients of poultry feed, mainly corn and soybeans, have seen a surge in their market prices due to unfavorable weather conditions affecting their growth. But there's another angle to this. With more consumers turning to a protein-rich diet, the demand for poultry has skyrocketed. This increased demand, coupled with supply challenges, is a recipe for market instability. On a brighter note, it opens up the door for alternative protein sources to gain popularity. Plant-based protein products, for instance, have been making waves in the market. These alternatives not only cater to vegetarians and vegans, but also to those who may want to reduce their meat consumption for environmental or health reasons. Number two, rice, a staple food for a large portion of the global population, especially in Asia, is under significant pressure. Rice cultivation is a delicate process, requiring specific conditions to thrive. It's heavily reliant on consistent water supply and is especially vulnerable to droughts. With changing climate patterns, many rice-producing regions are facing irregular rainfalls or prolonged dry spells, affecting the overall yield. Moreover, rice farming is labor-intensive, and in several parts of the world, there's been a shift from agriculture to other, often more lucrative, professions. This shift has resulted in reduced manpower dedicated to rice farming. Additionally, pests and diseases that attack rice crops, like the brown plant hopper, are becoming increasingly problematic in many areas. Considering rice's pivotal role in feeding billions, any hiccup in its production can send shockwaves through the global food supply chain. It's also a reminder of the importance of diversifying our diets and seeking alternative grains or cereals to ensure food security. Number three, pulses, including lentils, beans, and chickpeas, are an excellent source of protein and fiber, especially in vegetarian and vegan diets. These crops, typically grown in regions like India, Canada, and Australia, are not immune to the global challenges we've discussed. Erratic weather, water scarcity, and soil fertility issues can drastically reduce pulse yields. Furthermore, pulses have a longer growing season compared to some other crops. This means that any adverse condition during their growth phase can negatively impact the overall yield. Given the nutritional value and demand for pulses, a decline in their production can have significant repercussions on both prices and availability. Number four, nuts, particularly almonds, walnuts, and pistachios, are integral to several diets and culinary traditions. They're not only consumed directly, but also processed into products like nut butters or milk. These tree crops, predominantly grown in places like California, are heavily reliant on water and are vulnerable to droughts. Water scarcity, coupled with increasing global demand for these nutrient-rich nuts, is pushing prices upwards. Besides the direct consumption of these nuts, the rise in prices also affects industries that rely on them as primary ingredients. So it's not just the pack of almonds or walnuts you buy that might become more expensive, but also products like almond milk or walnut pastries. In light of these challenges, it's perhaps an opportune time for consumers to understand the origins of their food, the conditions needed for their growth, and the global challenges affecting their availability and pricing. This knowledge not only helps in making informed dietary choices, but also underscores the importance of sustainable and localized farming. Number five, fruits, especially tropical ones like bananas, pineapples, and mangoes, 
hold a cherished spot in most diets. Their delightful taste and the nutritional benefits they offer make them a regular in grocery lists. However, these fruits are usually grown in specific climatic zones that are now grappling with changing weather patterns. For instance, cyclones, heavy rains, or extended droughts in tropical regions can adversely affect the growth and yield of these fruits. Moreover, transportation challenges, be it due to geopolitical issues or disruptions in international supply chains, can hinder their availability in global markets. For countries that rely heavily on imports for these fruits, this could mean either skyrocketing prices or limited availability. Fortunately, as with other products, this paves the way for local fruits or alternatives to gain prominence. Exploring and appreciating regional fruits, which might have been overshadowed by more popular tropical varieties, can become a delightful culinary adventure. Number 6. Honey, that sweet nectar produced by bees, is more than just a sweetener. It has medicinal properties, is used in various beauty products, and is a staple in many kitchens. However, with the alarming decline in bee populations due to reasons ranging from pesticide use, habitat destruction, to climate change, honey production is facing a significant threat. A reduction in bee populations doesn't only affect honey production, but also has broader ecological implications, considering the essential role bees play in pollinating many of the foods we eat. This decline, thus, can potentially lead to a rise in honey prices and its reduced availability in markets. For consumers, it may be a time to explore alternative natural sweeteners like maple syrup or agave. At the same time, it emphasizes the importance of sustainable and bee-friendly practices in agriculture. Number 7. Tomatoes, versatile and widely consumed, are a foundation in many culinary dishes across cultures, from salads to sauces to soups. These crops, however, are sensitive to both extreme heat and cold, making them susceptible to the vagaries of changing weather patterns. Droughts can lead to water scarcity, impacting their growth, while sudden heavy rainfall can cause fungal diseases. Moreover, as with other crops, pest infestations and labor shortages in major tomato-producing regions can add to the challenges, resulting in potential shortages or price hikes in the market. While canned or processed tomato products might be an alternative, they too would face price revisions if the primary raw material becomes scarce. Encouragingly, for those with the space, growing tomatoes at home can be relatively straightforward and can serve as a buffer against market unpredictability. Number 8. Eggs, a primary protein source for many, are not exempt from the challenges facing the food industry. Just like the poultry industry, egg production can be impacted by the rising costs of feed. Additionally, disease outbreaks like the avian flu can lead to massive culls of birds, directly impacting egg supply. Even outside of direct challenges to production, transportation disruptions or increased energy costs can affect the storage and distribution of eggs, leading to potential shortages or price increases. In response to these challenges, some consumers are exploring alternatives like plant-based egg substitutes, especially in baking or cooking. However, for those deeply reliant on eggs, keeping an eye out for local producers or even considering backyard poultry keeping might be worthwhile avenues to explore. Number 9. Fish and Seafood Oceans and freshwater sources provide a vast array of seafood, from fish like salmon, tuna, and cod, to shellfish such as shrimp, crabs, and mussels. For many, particularly in coastal regions, seafood is a primary source of protein. However, overfishing, pollution, and changes in water temperature and acidity levels due to climate change are affecting fish populations and the health of aquatic ecosystems. Coral reef degradation, for example, directly impacts fish species that rely on these habitats. Moreover, fish farming or aquaculture meant to be a solution to declining wild fish stocks comes with its challenges. Disease outbreaks, water pollution, and concerns about feed, often made from smaller fish, make it a complex alternative. As demand for seafood continues to grow, there's a need for sustainable fishing practices and aquaculture methods to ensure that our seas and rivers continue to provide for us. As challenges mount, consumers might turn to underutilized fish species, which can help reduce pressure on more popular varieties. Another avenue to consider is lab-grown seafood, an emerging technology aiming to produce seafood without depleting natural resources. Number 10. Dairy products, milk, 
cheese, yogurt, and butter are central to numerous diets worldwide. Dairy farms, mainly reliant on cattle, are facing a myriad of challenges. Fluctuations in feed prices, water scarcity, and diseases can impact milk production. Additionally, the dairy industry is under scrutiny for its environmental impact, especially concerning greenhouse gas emissions. Furthermore, changing consumer preferences with a shift towards plant-based diets have led to a surge in demand for non-dairy alternatives like almond, soy, oat, and cashew milk. While these alternatives cater to those with lactose intolerance or ethical concerns about animal farming, they too come with their environmental challenges, especially concerning water usage, as in the case of almonds. Understanding the dynamics of the dairy industry and its alternatives is crucial. As with other food items, a sustainable approach, including supporting local dairies or even considering home-based dairy production for those with the means, can be a step in the right direction. Thank you for watching.